So the next access control method is Aloha. Aloha has been used long back in Japan when you know in Japan when uh, they used to communicate between two islands or so. But after that, it is not uh, used anywhere at practice. So just you know for the sake of for the name's sake, in order to just cover the syllabus, I am taking it. No question has been asked in gate till now about Aloha, or it is not being used practically anywhere. So you might not get this question even in interviews. Just for the sake of the syllabus, I am just uh, you no know, talking about it. So Aloha, the rules are like this. First rule is any station could transmit data any time. Which means if you want to transmit the data, you can transmit any time. Okay. And moreover, there is no carrier sensing also. No carrier sensing, which means you need not uh, sense the carrier at all. If you want to send the data without sensing the carrier, you know, even if the data is on the way, even if the data is currently being transmitted, you could still transmit the data. You need not uh, sense the carrier at all. And uh, second thing is, there will be collisions possible. Obviously, if you are not even sensing the carrier, and uh, if uh, data is on the way, definitely your data is going to uh, collide, isn't it? And there are no acknowledgments. Sorry, there are acknowledgments in Aloha. There are acknowledgments in Aloha. Therefore no need of collision detection you need not detect the collisions why if your data is lost obviously you are not going to get the acknowledgement if you don't get the acknowledgement it means that your data is lost in collision right then whenever your data is lost in collision then we are going to retransmit the data packets so this retransmission will take place after some fixed amount of time okay and uh, that is called a random no after random amount of time uh, every station will try to retransmit the data so since every station is going to pick up some random amount of time uh, the probability for the second collision is going to be very less so uh, this retransmissions retransmissions are going to take place after some random amount of time that time is also called as back off time okay so after some random amount of time we are going to retransmit the packets now, Aloha is of uh, basically two types. One, one Aloha is called Pure Aloha. And the other one is called Slotted Aloha. Okay. Now, Pure Aloha is like this. In Pure Aloha, anyone could send the data anytime. So, whatever the rules I told you, they all apply to Pure Aloha. Now, in, in pure aloha in order to find out the efficiency we have to find out vulnerable time so vulnerable time in pure aloha is like this vulnerable time is this when this is the timeline at any point if a station starts transmitting the data let us say a station is starting transmitting the data at this point okay and it is going to transmit it for tt time so assume that in this protocol TP is not used, propagation delay is not used. The reason is in wireless TP is going to be very very small. Okay, for this protocol, just assume that uh, TP is not used. Now, if I am standing, you know, if I start transmitting at this point, around this point, what is the time period during which there is a chance for collision? So if I start transmitting at this point, and if the transmission goes on for TT time during this entire amount of time if any other station starts then there will be a collision isn't it therefore this entire tt is vulnerable time moreover if i am starting transmission at this point before me someone might have started the transmission and therefore there could be a collision with this see after i start transmission <clears throat> if someone is going to start the transmission there will be a collision or before I start transmission, before I start the transmission, if someone started the transmission, then also there will be a collision. Therefore, collision in uh, Aloha is could be of two types, uh, pure Aloha, right? So one way is around before start before me, someone is starting the data with whom I am going to collide, or after me, someone is going to start the data, you no know, transmission. Therefore, I am going to collide. Therefore, around this point. In a range of 2 tt 
which means before 1 TT and after 1 TT, no one should transmit the data. If someone transmits the data, we are going to get collisions. Therefore, in pure aloha, vulnerable time is 2 into TT. Now, what is the efficiency of pure aloha? Efficiency of pure aloha is so I am directly writing it away, I am not going to derive it because it is not important, derivation is going to take a lot of time. If you are interested you can read in some textbooks. Efficiency is g into e power minus 2g <coughs> where we got this 2 because of this 2 which means since the vulnerable time is 2 into tt that is the efficiency we got it as minus 2g okay and now where capital G is capital G is number of stations number of stations who wants to transmit transmit in TT slot which means during this time 1 TT how many stations wants to transmit that is G now if I have to find the maximum value of efficiency I have to differentiate it differentiate it and equate it to 0. If I differentiate it and equate it to 0 then I get that at a value of g equal to 1 by 2 I get maximum efficiency. So if g equal to 1 by 2 if I substitute g equal to 1 by 2 I get maximum efficiency in case of pure aloha. What does it mean? What, does the, what is the meaning of g equal to 1 by 2 is? See what is g? g is number of stations who wants to transmit in one time slot tt right and i'm saying that at g equal to 1 by 2 the efficiency is maximum so what does it mean if half station transmits the data in one time slot we are going to get maximum efficiency what is the meaning of it how could half station transmit the data in one time slot it actually means that in one time slot half station is wants to transmit means in two time slots one station wants to transmit one station has to transmit that is the meaning of it so in two time slots which means in the time slot of 2 into tt if only one station transmits obviously if only one station transmits we are going to get maximum efficiency isn't it isn't it so it is meaningful so in the entire vulnerable time if only one station transmits then no one else will transmit therefore we get the maximum efficiency therefore maximum efficiency is when g equal to 1 by 2 then what is that maximum efficiency substitute g equal to 1 by 2 in this if i substitute g equal to 1 by 2 i get 1 by 2 into e power minus 1 so this equal to 0 0.184 so 0 0.184 is the maximum efficiency i could get in pure aloha so what does it mean the maximum efficiency we could get in pure aloha is 18.4 percent that's it which is very less efficiency is very less isn't it so why is efficiency is very less is because of a lot of collisions right so depending on this the questions will be this if the maximum efficiency no in given this uh, slotted aloha pure aloha uh, what is the maximum efficiency it is 18.4 percent then they'll say that the bandwidth is uh, so and so 100 mbps then what is the effective bandwidth then you have to multiply bandwidth with efficiency to get the effective bandwidth right so you can solve such questions easily right and next one is coming to slotted aloha the main difference between pure aloha and slotted aloha is time will be divided into slots slots and each slot is going to be 1 tt and every station will be forced either to start at only to start at the start beginning of a time slot which means every station should start transmitting only at this point only at this point if you miss out this point you could actually start again at this point okay if you miss out this point you can start at this point so no station is actually supposed to send the data in the middle therefore the main difference between pure aloha and slotted aloha is in slotted aloha any station could start transmitting data at any time but in uh, slotted aloha any every time is divided into slots and every station is forced in such a way that it should start uh, transmitting only at the beginning of a time slot if it misses out one time slot it has to wait for the next if it misses out this it has to wait for the next right so therefore uh, in uh, 
in slotted aloha what is the vulnerable time vulnerable time is nothing but time taken to uh, i mean if you start transmitting at some point then during what time your packet might get involved in collision so if you start you know transmitting at this point only within this time there is a chance that your packet might be involved in collision why because the previously started packet that would have started only at the previous point that would be over by now which means from the previous slot no packet will co collide with you in the current slot but the collision is possible only in the current slot if someone else starts at the same point right so vulnerable time is only this tt okay so the collisions can happen only in one time slot therefore vulnerable time is 1 tt so depending on this vulnerable time if vulnerable time is 1 tt then what will be efficiency efficiency is g into e power minus g right so in order to get the maximum value of efficiency i have to differentiate uh, this efficiency with respect to g and equate it to 0 then i get g equal to 1 at g equal to 1 at g equal to 1 the efficiency is maximum what does g mean g means number of stations which wants to which has to transmit in one time slot therefore if only one station transmit in one time slot i get the efficiency to be maximum so in this case if i have to have the maximum efficiency only one station has to transmit in one time slot right so that is that is why we get the maximum efficiency when g equal to 1 then what is the value of maximum efficiency is substitute in this place g equal to 1 that means maximum efficiency equal to 1 into e power minus 1 that equal to 1 by e so that will be 0 0.368 which means the maximum efficiency we get in slotted aloha is 36.8 percent okay so remember these two numbers 18.4 percent and 36.8 percent so questions on this will be uh, they'll say that we are using slotted aloha at maximum efficiency and they'll say if uh, bandwidth is 100 mbps then what is effective bandwidth then effective bandwidth will be multiply that 100 mbps with 0 0.368 right so such questions can be answered till now we have seen various uh, flow control methods and access control methods and it is worth noting the difference between a flow control method and access control method so i'll just tell you what is the difference coming to flow control method we have a sender and we have a receiver sender is sending data and receiver is receiving it in in case of flow control method the main challenge was to uh, see that receivers buffers are not overflowed which means we are we wanted to stop the sender from sending more than what a receiver can receive that is what is flow control right and coming to access control the main thing is there is a sender and there is a receiver like previous case along with it it is a broadcast channel which means many many uh, many people are there many hosts are there in the network and here the main main concern is when sender is sending the data we should see that no one else disturbs it or when anyone sends the data we should see that only that party sends the data and others uh, don't disturb it in case if there are collisions collision resolution everything has to be taken care by access control methods therefore access control method is used by a sender to get the access to the link and flow control method is used by the receiver i mean both of them are going to use it but its main concern is uh, that the receiver uh, receiver's buffer should not overflow therefore if we have a network first we apply the access control method for the sender to get the access over the channel and after it gets the access over the channel then we apply the flow control method in order to stop the uh, receiver uh, from overflowing right so both are being used now let's see what are the various methods we have seen and uh, it is better that you write down the formulas whatever formulas i'm going to say it is better you in your notebook you just uh, make a copy of these formulas they'll be useful for you so if you look at the flow control methods first thing is we have seen stop and wait right what was the efficiency of stop and wait 1 upon 1 plus 2a and then we have seen sliding window protocol sliding window protocol efficiency was 
n upon 1 plus 2a both go back end and sr both are having the same efficiency where n is the sender window size right so these are the flow control methods and we have seen the efficiency like this and coming to access control methods we have seen various access control methods right so one access control method is tdm so in tdm we have seen that the efficiency is 1 upon 1 plus a right and then we have seen polling polling efficiency is transmission time divided by transmission time plus polling time plus propagation delay and you should even keep it in mind that sometimes propagation delay could be zero right and next one is uh, in access control method uh, we have seen the next access control to be ethernet or csmscd ethernet is the lan csmscd is the access control method in csmscd we have seen that the efficiency is 1 upon 1 plus 6.44 a okay and then in token ring we have seen that there is early token reinsertion and delayed token reinsertion in early token reinsertion we have seen the efficiency is 1 upon 1 plus a by n and in delayed token reinsertion we have seen the efficiency is 1 upon 1 plus a by n into n plus 1 right therefore efficiency of early token reinsertion is greater than efficiency of delayed token reinsertion right and then we have seen polling uh, sorry uh, aloha in aloha we have seen two types one is pure aloha and other is slotted aloha and the efficiency of pure aloha is uh, g into e power minus 2g and the uh, slotted aloha efficiency is g into e power minus g and we found out that the maximum efficient maximum value of this efficiency is in case of pure aloha it is 0.184 and here it is 0 0.368 right so these are the various uh, formulas we have seen it is better that you make a note of it somewhere okay now we shall go to the next topic